Hey guys, today we're going to add a transmog system into our Wrath of the Lich King server. Uh, to do that, we're going to need to keep in mind that this works only on a uh, compiled core. It does not work on a repack. You're going to need to have something similar to this and you're going to need to have all the requirements installed and the server set up with a working database in a way that it can boot successfully like this. As you can probably see, my core is the, the most recent one that you can have. It's a Trinity core, not Azeroth, and uh, it's on a 3.3.5 version. It's a Wrath of the Lich King branch. So, to get to the transmog system, we're going to need to do Trinity core transmog, just like that. And we can see the website from Rochet Code gonna go in here and gonna press download the difference between these two versions is that this one is like a vendor where you can right click um, on well actually there are a few uh, few videos here that you can you can check for yourself what we're gonna do in our current uh, method is we're gonna go with a blizz like stuff not with the vendor so let's go with blizz like and let's do this uh, what we need is just the diff, which is the patch that it uses. Uh, this is the core modification that we're going to need to apply. So to do that, we're going to need to save this link. It's in German. I don't know German, but yeah, it's this one. All right. Uh, I'm going to go with this and this. This is where my core has been stored. Going to need to do... Um, transmog.diff and then I'm just gonna save it uh, from here we're gonna need to open git bash first of all uh, a few things to keep in mind I can see the file extensions all right that's important for you to to notice to know because you if you do not have that one enabled you probably cannot see these items that don't have a name and are just dot something an extension to uh, to fix that, I'm gonna go to control panel, I'm gonna go to file explorer options, and we're gonna go into view and hide extensions. Gonna need to uncheck this one. If I check it, you cannot see, yeah, exactly like that. We're gonna need to uncheck it, hit apply, and then we can see all the extensions of the files that we need. Um, gonna need to open git bash in this very location so we can right click and do git bash here um, git apply and then we're just gonna copy this copy the file name uh, maybe it would be better if we don't do copy So if we go through it real quick, we will see that it has been it has been applied cleanly and I don't think we should be we should see any rejected files. Doesn't seem like it. A few things to note about git bash is as soon as we apply something, it usually uh, sends the result if it has been applied cleanly or if it has any sort of issues. All the issues that we will have are generated in a .reg files in the, the core itself. So when we do search for .reg as in rejected files, it will show us the exact line that we will need to work on, uh, where it, it was supposed to be added and what happened with it. Let's go into our uh, CMake. and regenerate all of it. This is the core. Let's redo that. This is the core and this is the build. Since we have build and it has some data on it, we will need to break it down um, by recreating a new empty folder. Even if we don't have an empty folder, and we just type here the name of the, for the, the, the folder, it will create it for us. I'm gonna hit yes. And just gonna do finish. 
I use the 2019 compiler. And since it uses the default 64 bit, I just hit finish. But you could also do it like that. I mean, it's the same outcome if you do it or not. But yeah, ju just, just so you know. So I'm going to do finish and then I'm going to see if it can compile as it should. All right, the project has been generated. We have build two folder. Going to go in there and we're going to go into Trinity Core SLN. Going to double click to open it. And as soon as it opens, I'm going to change the, uh, the build into release with debug information. Gonna hit that and then I'm gonna go into build and build solution. Now this is a dedicated, well, it's a virtual private machine that I got specifically so I can record stuff on it in a production environment. Um, it's a very cheap one just for the sake of like record stuff. It might take a bit, a bit of time. It's a very slow one. I and mean, again, it's a cheap one. Um, I'm going to pause and we will be right back.